This is the RP4 shaker table from Global Mining Solutions. We are a dealer here in on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. We sell these online. They are a fine gold recovery unit. This is where you, you put the concentrates in. And it goes down these ripples. I don't know if you can see them, but there's ripples here that it goes down. There's a little catch basin here that'll be where the gold, some of the gold gets trapped in there and you can just suck it up with your snuffer bottle. And then it comes around. Any of the bigger stuff here goes onto this screen. And the bigger nuggets, if you got them, go down into these nugget traps. Now, the gold will sit in these traps and the tailings will go out this port and out. This unit has three ports and then your tailings. We've got one here, which is your number one, which is mainly gold. And you've got your other one here, which is mainly middlings and uh, heavies, heavy concentrate, iron, stuff like that, and some gold. And you've got your third port, which is pretty much also just tailings and uh, lighter material stuff. What we, how we've got this hooked up is just with a in, a, in a garage, with a tub, recirculating water with a thousand gallon per hour uh, filled pump. Build pump. It could use probably, we could go up to a 1500 or a 2000 for a little bit more water. We're just kind of testing this, this machine right now. Um, but it's hooked up to a 12 volt car battery. Any car battery with a, we got a charger on it right now, but you don't have to have a charger on it, but we just keep it charged. It's got a valve here to adjust your water flow and the unit sold separately comes with the stand which is this one here is bolted right down to the concrete floor uh, you don't have to you can use sandbags and uh, and that'll hold it down you can use it out in the field if you don't want to recirculate it uh, you can do that out in the field with the car battery or you can just have a water pump and hook directly to the on off valve Right here, you would need a small generator for power though. But this unit is probably one of the best units I've seen to find gold recovery. You can see here, the lighter material right here. You got the heavier iron and stuff. And then you can see here, this is where the heavies and the gold would, would be concentrated. I'm going to stop this and we'll see if we can see any gold sitting in here. Now, you can see some gold sitting right in here on the edge. Right along in here. There's a piece there. Quite a few smaller ones up in here. And we'll see if we can see any See if we can see any uh, any gold down here in this little little trough. Yeah, you can see the gold down here in this little catch basin. That's. I'll just uh, give me a second here to adjust the light. You can see that gold. Now that right there is fine gold. Probably, there's some bigger pieces there, but there's some fine stuff down to probably 100, 150 mesh. Now we're just gonna keep this unit running for a minute, and uh, we'll see if we get a bit bigger line of gold here that we can see. But this is it in action. It oscillates back and forth, kind of on an offset angle. That's what makes the gold go up into the uh, Go up into the corner. This is your spray bar right there. It's all been pre drilled and, and stuff, so 
got the proper flow that pushes the lighter material away in the heavies. This is where it comes down, this crop here, the little ripples. Goes into this little kind of corner, and then it goes out. You can see it working its way out there. Let's see what kind of a line we got going on here. Yeah, there you go. You can see some gold here. I'll turn the unit off. Now you can see. Got to adjust this light here, but you can see some, some gold sitting right there. You can see that line starting to form. Now that right there is, is all gold there, sitting along that edge. You can see it there. And it just works its way along that edge. And the lighter materials go blow it. And then it all goes into this. We got port one right here. And then there's our second port and our third, and then our tailings. But again, if this is what you're after for beach sand, beach material, crushed ore that you've gotten, or uh, anything from the, uh, you know, the beach sands that you do, any beach mining, just any saved concentrates out of your sluice, out of your dredge, this will catch gold that you would wash right out of your pan you know now you can use mercury but we discourage that in this day and age with no need to use mercury but uh, this is it that's it pretty simple it's light that's the uh, the RP4 Again, if you're interested in it, you can check out the website at uh, www.vancouverislandgold.com. If you got any questions, you can send me an email and I'll get back to you with any questions on it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. We hope to hear from you soon. I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you... Uh, some of the fine gold concentrates that we've, we've taken down. Now you can see here, you can see here, this stuff here, that's stuff we've just ran. I'm gonna try to get this picture of it here and see if you can really see it. But yeah, right there, you can see that stuff right there, that gold is probably Hundred mesh, hundred mesh, hundred and fifty mesh, really, really, really fine, really fine. But that stuff that we've just ran through this uh, RP4 shaker table, uh, you know, maybe not much, maybe a quarter of a pan of material, and we've we've got that right there, so. Yeah, it's a fun machine to work and it gets the gold, it finds the gold. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.